This panel shows us how to measure the speed of light using nothing but a microwave, and it actually works. Those of you who use a microwave must have complained at some point, because your food was partially hot in some places and cold in other spots. But the reason this happened is that you didn't use your microwave properly. A microwave has a magnetron which sends energy in the form of waves inside the metal box. Those waves can be expressed as an alternating sine wave. And looking at this, you might notice the points between the peaks and valleys will always remain at zero. They are called nodes, and if you leave your food at those points, it will remain partially cold. To avoid that, engineers came up with a rotating plate, and to use it properly, you have to put your dish at its edge, so it rotates and doesn't remain at the cold nodes. Now if we remove the rotating plate system, put something that melts easily inside like butter, run the microwave for a short while and then get it out, we will notice a pattern in the butter, melting points with some distance in between, which is a cold area. The butter melted most where the peaks and valleys of the waves are, and remained solid at the nodes. So this is basically a map of the waves, and by measuring the distance between the melting points, we can find out an approximation of the speed of light. The distance between two hot points in the butter should be around 6 centimeters. This is the distance between a peak and a valley, or one half the length of the wave. So the full wavelength is 6 centimeters multiplied by 2, which is 12 centimeters or 0. 12 meters. By multiplying this by the frequency the microwave runs at, 2.45 gigahertz the frequency used in microwaves which makes water molecules vibrate, we get almost 300,000 kilometers per second, which is an approximation of the speed of light, because light travels at the same speed as all electromagnetic waves, like those used in microwaves. 